Spider Science Dummies, it's only me, Tinker. We've had a video set in. Video from Mr. Tom Bowler from Wigan in the United Kingdom. Tom wants to know. Why is water wet? I'm Shoggy. So, your dummies want to load down on water. Well, you're talking to the man. Water. It's a liquid at room temperature. It's transparent. It's so delicious. You drink it, washing it. And if you're like me, swim in it, crapping it, and eating it. It can put out fires. It can dissolve salt, sugar, and a whole number of other things. We certainly can't live without it. The majority of molecules in your body are water. And yet, if we must in it for too long, you humans drown and die. Over to the narrator. H2O. The formula for water. This is one of the most famous chemical formulas. For every atom of oxygen, there are two hydrogen atoms. The atoms are not arranged in a straight line. Instead, they sit in a V shape. This is because oxygen has two points for bonding and two other hidden points all for itself. Greedy oxygen atoms. All atoms have a nucleus at the center, which is positively charged. Whizzing around them is a cloud of negative electrons. Oxygen is a hungry atom. It has more electrons than hydrogen. It loves to pull the electrons of its neighbors towards it. Its greed makes it overly negative. Hydrogen can't resist this pull, so when it's attached to oxygen, it loses a bit of its hold on its negative electrons. It ends up a little bit more positive than if it were sitting all on its own. Water. The point of the V-shape, the oxygen, is more negative than the tips where the hydrogens sit. The tips of the V-shape are therefore a little positive. The term for this is polar, because of the opposites contained at either end of the V-shape. Polar molecules like water, interact best with other structures that are also polar. Opposites attract. Positives and negatives attract each other. When you put two water molecules together, the hydrogens are attracted to the oxygens. Add another water molecule, and another, and you quickly form a three-dimensional network. Water is sticky. The strong attraction between water molecules gives it properties that are unusual, chemically speaking. It makes water especially sticky. Water sticks to itself so well that it is a liquid over a large range of temperatures. Enough for it to practically cover our planet and enable life. Back over to Sharky. Firstly, let us define wetness. Wetness is the state or condition of being covered or saturated with water or another liquid. Scientifically speaking, liquid water is not itself wet. It can make other solid materials wet. Wetness is the ability of a liquid to adhere to the surface of a solid. So when we say that something is wet, we mean that the liquid is sticking to the surface of a material. Over to the narrow. We have seen that the structure of H2O is polar, and that water molecules attract other water molecules to form a network. Being polar means it sticks well to other things, especially things that are also polar in nature, like fabric. Even if water cannot stick well to a surface, it then covers the surface in droplets. If we define wetness as a sensation that we get when a liquid comes in contact with us, 
Then wetness is our description of what we feel when we put our hand in water. Sensory receptors on our hand send information about the water to our brain. Our brain receives the information and processes it. A combination of temperature, pressure and the way water moves tells our brain that water is wet. Saying water is wet is like saying that wood is hard or fire is hot. So, wetness is the condition of a liquid sticking to a solid surface, such as water wetting our skin. We cannot say that water is wet by itself because it takes a liquid and a solid to define the term wet. But we now know that the stickiness of water makes things wet. Back over to Sharky. So now you know why water is wet. And I know, I have been in this bath too long. I'm starting to look like a prune. If you dug this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe and send your science questions to those folks at Brats HQ. Thanks for watching.